This is Fred Beck from Fred Talks Fighting, proudly sponsored by Boohoo Man. I'm joined by El Brook after a draw against Paige Van Sant. El, what a performance tonight. Your overall thoughts on the fight? Yeah, I think, I don't know, I feel like there's a lot to learn from that fight, obviously, and the second one is going to be huge. Um, you know, I think people wanted a really interesting female first main event on Misfits, and I think we did exactly that. I think we gave a fight uh, for people to watch. We were swinging um, and never gave up. So, yeah, I am gassed. Obviously, we didn't get the win, uh, but we got the draw. I'm still the champ. Is it an odd feeling getting a draw? Oh, my record's a bit <laughs> 4 one, one sounds pig, <laughs> pig. Can we have like a few journeymen in between, Jake? Like, can we make it like? Jake is uh, Elle's manager for context. This, this is, oh yeah, this is <laughs> this is Jake, my manager. He's off screen. Hi, Jake. Wow, Jake's coming on camera. Yeah. That's rare. Coming on for a second. <laughs> you know, and can, then I'm gone. Can we have some journeymen to like bulk it up so I look really hard? Yes. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> You're like, no, we like the hard fights. <laughs> Jake's is sort of the Al Heyman of this, where he never never appears on camera. Um, when the fifth when the fifth round went and the bell went, did you yeah. think you'd done enough? I think I'd done enough with the knockdown. Also, if you're the champ, you've got to snatch it from the champ. Mm. Um, but obviously she's, uh, I mean, it's in the USA and, you know. I mean, this was my first pro fight and it was a draw. How did you find good? I don't know. <laughs> how, did you, how did you find the eight ounce gloves? Oh, I mean, I don't think she, she doesn't punch hard. I think if, if I hit her with some of the punches she hit me, I'd be on the floor. But I hit her clean with the right hand. Oh, God. boom, boom. Fred, let's try it. <laughs> Well, the first round, when how much of a confidence boost was that dropping her yeah, in the I, first round? That's a textbook kind of right hand which you drill over and over again with Mark. It's yeah. the same shot you hit AJ Bunker with and knocked her out with. I think this one was shorter, wasn't it? And I didn't fight it. I didn't set it up. But obviously, um, it's just a really accurate right hand. I want to work on my other shots, like um, the left hook. I want right. to get the left I hook. I thought on. for you, it was quite single shots, and I thought the combinations were missing. Did you yeah. think that too? Thanks, Fred. <laughs> No, 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 I do. No, I do. no, no, I'm not I being like me. I'm saying. I need, to, I need yeah. to learn. Yeah, yeah, yeah. That's exactly what comes with experience. And obviously, I, I didn't know what. Um, I think my defense was a lot better this time. Even oh, massively. The head, the head movement. Even though I did get hit, I well, did. The, turn, the turning away from the jab around in circles is very, very tidy. Yeah, I know. And moving the shoulders, dipping in and out. It's coming. I can't, you know, Rome wasn't built in a day. I'm thinking, oh, you know, I'm learning on defense, but I'm trying to do combinations. Like, I'm still proud of my performance. I don't care. No, it, it is, is very, it's a very, very, very good performance. But yeah, did you look I don't I think um I think I look ten ten. So that's all that matters. I'm still the champ. The champ's always gonna look good. Even if you draw, you're still the champion. Exactly. Along the champ beforehand. Um quick I was, I was talking to John Hedges about this and I was saying, How come when L landed the right hand in the first round, how come you didn't continue to throw it? And he was like, Well, an experienced fighter like Paige, she'll now know that you're gonna try that punch more. Yeah. Is that why you didn't throw the right hand as much? I didn't wanna get too too keen. Right, like I don't wanna waste shots and miss and then her being able to see them and like wallop and counter punch, you know yeah, what I mean? I wasn't, if because I got the knockdown, I didn't, I, I was in there for 10 minutes. Mm. And if I got the knockdown and she stayed down, granted, like amazing, but I don't want to pounce her and use all my energy. Um, you know, I'd already, um, you know, thought to myself, I'm in it for the long run. So, you know, I don't want to just, you know, with my inexperience, like rush in, boom, and make any mistakes. So I think I kind of played it safe. Obviously didn't do enough to win, but got the draw. How do you feel in the clinch with Paige? Because obviously as bare knuckle FC and UFC, you do a lot of clinch work. Yeah. As a boxer, you don't do it as regularly as an MMA fighter. It seems sort of thing that Paige was very comfortable in the clinch because she's been there so many times. And the ref didn't, it took a while to break it up each time. I think I could do the body shots better. Um, she seemed to catch you on the sides, like around the, around the back of the... And you ran your back quite a lot in the clinch, I thought. Didn't notice. Oh. <laughs> no, that, that didn't hurt. Every time you got hit, I was like, oh, wow, sugar. And you are like, yeah, didn't notice. <laughs> yeah, I didn't even <laughs> <laughs> If I hit her, you would, ooh. But with her, yeah, she doesn't, I don't think she, um, obviously she's tough, she's strong, she's game. And she's an experienced fighter and she didn't wilt. Um, but Paige Van Zandt doesn't hit hard. <laughs> Did, um, Do you know the hardest person yeah. to ever punch me was Faith Ordway? <laughs> you know she Big up Faith Ordway back in the day. No, but you know when she busted my nose real yeah. bad? Like, that wall. You know, I just came back. Well, that was it. very, like, head in the centre line. That was, that was back in the day. Yeah. Now you never get hit by those shots. No, 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 but she walloped me. 
I think since then, uh, yeah, I don't know, maybe I've just got massive chin. Oh no, now you move your head, and now you've got defence, <laughs> oh, so yeah. you're very good now in that term, so of moving around in a circle yeah. and moving away. No, I was, I was actually really pleased. Yeah. <laughs> you were proud with that performance? Yeah, yeah. Oh nice, I'm really proud. I was Before relaxed. the fight, Ollie, came, Ollie comes to me and goes, Fred, should you come say hello to Elle? And I was like, she's in the zone, I'll stay away. <laughs> yeah. I was like, Ollie, I don't mean that in a mean way. And he's like, yeah, yeah, we know, we know. Yeah, no, I feel good. I do feel okay. good. Just a couple more things. Did you ever feel tired? At what point in the fight did you start to feel tired or just fatigue? Feel tired or fatigue? Well, I don't know. After, after the third, I was like, this could be a long night. Oh, yeah. <laughs> yeah, but no, I feel like, you know, five rounds is a lot at that pace. That was crazy pace, right? Yeah. You know, even very, professional. In and out. It's an amateur boxer pace, I thought, you know, where it's jab, in, out, jab, in, oh, out. Oh, yeah. But then they do, I guess, the same three threes, you know. I don't know. <laughs> I don't know. I don't know what to say. Anyway, I spoke to Mam. She says we'll do the rematch in England, in London. Well, not in London, but somewhere in the UK where you'll sell a lot more tickets. Yeah. And he was like, El can sell out the arena. Yeah, I think I could. I think I could. Yeah. I think he's happy with that performance. Yeah, so. I think so. I think a lot of people are happy. Well, El, well done. I'm really proud of you, to be fair. Thank but yeah, you. Well done. Thank you, thank you, thank you. Are you proud of me? Yeah, of course. Cool.